Desert Travelogue Thailand, whose name means Land of the Free, Thailand is a country in Southeast Asia, on the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. Its official name is the Kingdom of Thailand, but it was once called Siam. The Thai Kingdom is a long thin country that is more than 1,400 miles long in length. Myanmar, Burma, Laos, Cambodia, and Malaysia are all close by. Bangkok, which means City of Angels, is the capital. It has a population of 67 million people. Thailand is often called the Land of Smiles because the people there are so friendly and open. Thailand is a wonderful and varied country. Thai culture has been shaped by many cultures, such as Chinese, Lao, Burmese, and Myanmar. Thailand is one of the most famous tourist spots in the world because it is safe, cheap, has beautiful nature, and has an interesting culture. Explore the countryside by bike, hike through the tropical jungles, go from island to island, find secret caves and lagoons, and try new foods at the floating markets. Shoda Travel also has a number of eco-friendly and volunteer-based vacation packages in Thailand that include homestays, volunteer work, and environmental projects. There is something here for everyone, from the beautiful beaches and huge rock formations in the south to the tasty food, old temples, and green mountain caves in the north. Let's look into the beauty of Thailand and learn about their food, beaches, adventures, hotels, temples, culture, king, palaces, locals and events at their best. Language There is only one approved language, and that is Thai. There are different types of this wonderful language. The writing was made by King Ramkamhang the Great of the Sakotai Kingdom in 1283. Chinese and Malay are two other languages that are spoken. English is taught in secondary schools and is spoken and known by many people all over the country. Currency To Thai people, the baht, THB, is their currency. Festival Thailand's festivals and holidays are based on the lunar calendar, which means that the times change every year. Kingdom, People and Culture Mahavahiralongpon, also known as King Rama X, is the current king of Thailand. He was crowned in May 2019, almost three years after the death of his father, Pumapana Dunya Date, who was loved by the people. Thais have thought for a long time that the king is the heart of all Thais. Thais believe, their king is like God on earth, they can see him every day through his hard work which has never stopped, not even a single day. The Grand Palace in Bangkok is the official home of the king, while the Dusat Palace has been their private home. The Thai king is the leader of the country's government and the Royal Thai Armed Forces. He is also a Buddhist and protects faiths. About 90% of the people are Buddhist, but there are about 3 million Muslims living in the south, close to Malaysia. Thai kids go to elementary school for six years. After that, they can go to high school for another six years, but their families have to pay for it. When boys are in ninth grade, they start military training. Thai food has elements of both Chinese and Indian cuisine. Most Thai food is spicy, and hot chilies, lemongrass, basil, ginger, and coconut milk are used in a lot of meals. Now let's look at the some 10 best Thai dishes made by locals. A very big and important part of your trip to Bangkok and Thailand is eating Thai food. Thai food is popular all over the world because it has unique tastes and smells. A lot of people who walk through the city's alley stop at food stands along the way. These stands sell cheap skewered meats, fried rice, noodles, and hot soups. For a more relaxed dining experience, Bangkok has many places with large menus that serve traditional Thai food. Our guide to the best Thai food will help you try the best of what the city has to offer. Tom Yum Gong It's also called spicy shrimp soup. Lemongrass, galangal, kaffir lime leaves, shallots, lime juice, and fish sauce are mixed together to make tom yum gong, which is a strong and delicious soup. This spicy and sour soup tastes best with steamed white rice and has tasty river shrimp and straw mushrooms in it. Samtam Also known as spicy green papaya salad, 
The northeastern Thai state of Isan is where Song Tum, a spicy green papaya salad, comes from. A pestle and mortar are used to crush garlic, chilies, green beans, cherry tomatoes, and chopped raw papaya. This creates a unique flavor that is sweet, sour, and spicy. In some places, peanuts, dry shrimp, or salty crab are added to the mix. Some people love this dish and can't get enough of its taste, while others can't stand how spicy it is. Tom Kha Kai Chicken in Coconut Soup is another name for this dish. Tom Kha Kai is a milder version of Tom Yum. It has thinly sliced young galangal, crushed shallots, stalks of lemongrass, and soft strips of chicken. Coconut milk is added to the dish to make it less spicy, and fresh lime leaves are sprinkled on top. You can eat creamy tom kha kai with warmed rice, just like most Thai soups. Gain Doeng Gain Doeng is a fragrant red curry made with meat, red curry sauce, smooth coconut milk, and sliced kaffir lime leaves on top. It is also known as red curry. Even though it has a bright color, Gain Doeng isn't very hot. If you want something spicy, you can ask for fresh chili. If you don't want meat in this curry, you can ask the cook to substitute tofu for it. Pad Thai Thai-style fried noodles are another name for them. One of the most famous Thai meals is Pad Thai. Small, thin, or wide noodles, crunchy bean sprouts, onion, and an egg are stir-fried in a pot that is very hot. Spices like fish sauce, dried shrimp, garlic or onions, red chili, and palm sugar are also added to the dish to make it taste better. Pad Thai is usually made with seafood, like fresh shrimp, crab, or squid, but sometimes it's made with chicken, beef, or pork instead. A piece of lime, bean sprouts, crushed roasted peanuts, and fresh herbs are often put on top of the stir-fried noodles. Khao Pad means fried rice. In Bangkok, people often eat Khao Pad, fried rice, for lunch. Adding prawns, crab, chicken, tofu, basil, or leftover vegetables is an easy way to make this simple meal of rice, egg, and onion filled out. Pad Krapao Moo It's also called basil and pork stir-fry. Pad Krapao Moo is a Thai meal that comes on a single plate. You can eat it for lunch or dinner. In a wok, pork mince, honey basil leaves, big fresh chilies, green beans, soy sauce, and sugar are stir-fried. A plate of steamed white rice is topped with the cooked mixture and the fried egg, Kai Dao. Gain Kio Wan Kai Green chicken stew is another name for it. Green chilies give Gain Kio Wan Kai its unique color, but the rest of the ingredients are the same as in most Thai soups. Coconut milk, cherry-sized eggplants, bamboo shoots, galangal, lemongrass, coriander, and sweet basil are all in this green chicken soup. Classic Tom Yum isn't as sweet or rich as this one. It goes well with flatbread or hot rice. Yum Nua Yum Nua is a cool Thai salad with strips of soft beef on top. It is also called spicy beef salad. Zesty lime juice, olive oil, soy sauce, ginger, garlic, fish sauce, and palm sugar are used to make the dressing. To cut down on the sour sweet taste, Yum Nua tastes better when served with rice. Kai Pad Med Ma Moang It's also called chicken stir-fried with cashew nuts. Stir-fried chicken with cashew nuts is what Kai Pad Med Ma Moang is all about. Soy sauce, honey, onions, chilies, pepper, and different kinds of veggies, usually chopped bell peppers or carrots, are also in this dish. The chicken and cashew nuts are mixed with dried chili, but it's not very spicy. Kids and people who can't handle hot foods can eat this dish. Tourism Thailand has beautiful islands, Buddhist buildings and animals from far away. People also love its interesting past, unique culture and delicious food. There is a lot of money in the Thai economy that comes from tourism. About 18.4% of the national GDP comes from tourism. The tourism industry rests on both foreign and domestic tourists. There are many more domestic tourists than foreign tourists. 39,797,406 people came to Thailand in 2019. Now let's look at Thailand's most beautiful spots. 
Please subscribe to our channel before we begin. 1. Bangkok. Thailand's capital city. All day long, a lot of people visit temples like Wat Pho Temple, but that's not the end of the fun. Bangkok is a great place to shop and look for souvenirs because it has night markets, mega stores and the huge Chachuk weekend market. You should get ready for Bangkok because it is very busy. But there's no place else in the world quite like it for travelers who want to learn about the locals and feel alive all the time. Tourism is always popular in Bangkok, as shown by the fact that more and more people visit every year. When it comes to Bangkok's main tourist spots, most of them are historical or religious like churches. There is historic value as well as beautiful architecture and wall paintings. Some examples are Wat Prasri Ratana Samaram, Prakeyu, Wat Prachachuvan Woman Mangalaram, Wat Pho, Wat Arun Rachawaram, Wat Sra Ket, Prab or Banfit, Golden Mountain, Wat Rachanada, Wat Tremit, Wat Benchama Bofit, Wat Bani Wat Fahara Satasan, Wat Tep Waram, and many more. Bangkok also has a lot of other interesting places to visit, like parks, museums, palaces, and shopping malls. In every part of Bangkok, there are places to relax, like the Chachup Weekend Market, Sampeng Market, Yaorat Night Market, and Forhurat Night Market, as well as places to shop, like many high-end department stores. One of the best things to see in Bangkok is the floating shops. Almost every tourist comes to at least one of these on their first trip here. The noise, color, smell, and mood make it a one-of-a-kind experience, and getting a snack from a passing boat is hard to beat. Many people will still be turned off by the long distance. The high cost of the tour, and the ridiculously early wake-up time needed to get there in time to fully enjoy the experience. There are lots of fun things to do at night in Bangkok. There are stylish rooftop bars, unique drink bars, lively clubs, and more. Bangkok's nighttime is just as busy and varied as the city itself, and most tourists should plan to enjoy all that the city has to offer. People who come to the city will want to plan their nightlife adventures because there is so much to do. This guide can help travelers choose which areas, bars, clubs, and sites to see when they get there. The world's biggest Chinatown is in Bangkok. One could also say that it is one of the best Chinatowns to visit. There are Chinatowns in many places, but Bangkok's is the best. 2. Chiang Mai Many tourists, both Thai and foreign, come to Chiang Mai every year. The province has beautiful nature mixed with Lana culture and modern colors that look great together. Worshipping the Pran at Doi Sub, which is an important landmark for the people of Chiang Mai, is a popular thing for tourists to do there. At Thapi Walking Street, you can see how people live in the area and buy stylish handcrafted items. The Queen Serakit Botanical Garden and Rajapruk Royal Park have many kinds of plants for you to see. On Nimanhemen Road, you should not miss the chance to buy art, eat local food, and learn about different cultures. Nature and mountain tours are another thing that you shouldn't miss when you're in Chiang Mai. For example, you can climb to the top of Dioi Intanon which is Thailand's highest point. Take in the beauty of the rice fields and the cool air while you watch the giant tiger flower bloom at Doi Anj Kang. You can stay in an ecotourism homestay in Mei Kampong and visit Mung towns in Doi Poi, among other things. You could spend your whole holiday just walking around Chiang Mai's famous city center, which has over 30 temples surrounded by the remains of old walls. A Buddhist temple in the hills called Wat Fratat Doa Sub can be reached by climbing 300 stairs. But don't just visit historical sites, the night bazaar is where you can see Thailand in the present and learn how to haggle. The Botanic Garden is also a great spot to learn about Thai culture and enjoy the soft scent of Thai flowers. It has a lot of places to visit, like the White Temple, the Blue Temple, the Black House, the Elephant Sanctuary, and the Floating Market. 3. Phuket Phuket is in the southern part of Thailand. This is Thailand's largest island. It is in the Andaman Sea. The province that is closest to the east is Phang Nga. Many Chinese sites and restaurants can be found in Phuket, 
because the city has a lot of Chinese people living there. At that place every year there is a Chinese vegetarian festival. There are a lot of Chinese people in Phuket. But there are also a lot of people of other cultures who bring their customs and holidays from all over the world. Phuket is a big island, so it has many beautiful beaches all around it. Some of these are Rawai, Patong, Karen, Kamala, Katayai, Katanoi, and Maikau. People say that the sunsets at Leung from that viewpoint are the most beautiful in Thailand. Not only are there beaches, but there are also beautiful classical buildings, like the Goom restaurant. You can see why Phuket is a popular place for tourists in Thailand. The island has a friendly vibe and is known for its lively nightlife. There are many ways to get to Phuket, making it easy to visit. Most of the time, the beaches in the north are much less busy than those in the south. There are places to learn how to dive, snorkel, kayak, and sail at all of Phuket's main beaches, don't miss the red flag. Before going swimming. 4. Chonberry. Chonberry is the closest beach town to Bangkok. It is on the eastern coast of the Gulf of Thailand, only 80 kilometers from the city. There are many natural resources in the area, including beautiful beaches, local customs, tasty foods from the area, and fresh seafood. Bangkokians often escape their busy weekly plans to the nearby coastal province of Chonberry, especially to the beach resort of Pattaya. However, the province's smaller, quieter beach towns are also very popular with Thais and foreigners. With its fishing towns and industrial parks, Chonberry is the center of the Eastern Seaboard Development Project as well as a tourist destination. All kinds of tourists can enjoy the sights in Chonberry, Thailand. People who like to take risks might want to go to Khao San Muk. There is a Chinese shrine and cactus gardens on top of the hill, and there are lots of wild monkeys on the sides of the hills. Chonberry is also a great place for beach lovers, with popular spots like Koh Lan, Bang Zane, and Pattaya. At Nong Mon Market, you can buy handmade items as souvenirs as well as tasty foods like homok, Thai steamed fish curry, khao lam, sweet sticky rice and bamboo, sweet banana and taro chips, and candied fruits. There are more places in Chonberry that travel books recommend, Siracha Taiga Zoo, Prasad Sejia Tam, Sanctuary of Truth, Kako Open Zoo, Four Regions Floating Market, Koh Si Chang, Koh Samir San, and Mini Siam. 5. Ubon Ratchatani Mountain areas and plateaus make up Ubon Ratchatani province. The Mun River flows through the middle of the province. The area where Ubon Ratchatani meets Cambodia and Laos has been called the Emerald Triangle because of its beautiful green scenery. Phu Chong Nui and Pha Taeum National Parks are two of Isan's least changed and least visited natural areas, which adds to the beauty of Ubon Ratchatani's nature. The biggest city in the northeast, Ubon Ratchatani, is also a great place to see the annual Candle Festival, which is a lovely Buddhist celebration. There are many interesting and beautiful places to visit in Ubon Ratchatani. Some of these are Fateum National Park, which is known for its prehistoric rock paintings, Sampan Bok, also known as the Grand Canyon of Thailand, Wai Sai Ya Waterfall, which is one of the most beautiful waterfalls in northeastern Thailand, and Wat Tam Pua Sawan and Wat Fratat Nong Boa. Fans of local events will love the Kalfanza Day Candle Festival, when huge, intricately carved candles are paraded through the city. This is the province's most important event. Handwoven cotton cloth, loincloths, silk cloth, pillows with folk patterns, and brass goods are all popular things to bring back from Ubon Ratchatani. If you like food, you have to try white pork sausage, Thai sweet sausage, and fermented sausage made in the northeastern way. 6. Phi Phi Islands the Phi Phi Islands are a group of islands in Thailand. They are between Phuket, which is a big island, and the coast of the Straits of Malacca. The islands are part of Krabi province in terms of government. The group's biggest and most populous island is Koh Phi Phi Don. However, many people also visit the beaches of Koh Phi Phi La, the group's second largest island. Bida Nok, Bida Nai, and Koh Mai Phi are some of the other islands in the group. 
They are mostly just big limestone rocks sticking out of the water. Ferries, speedboats, and longtail boats can take you to the islands. Most of the time, they leave from Krabi Town or places in Phuket Province. In the late 1940s, Thai Malay fishermen first lived on Phi Phi Don. Later, it was turned into a coconut farm. More than 80% of the Thai people who live on Phi Phi Don are still Muslims. If you count temporary workers, though, the present population is more Buddhist than Muslim. There are between 2,000 and 3,000 people who live there, 2018. The islands became famous all over the world when the British-American movie The Beach filmed on Ko-Fi Phila. This led to criticism, with claims that the film company had hurt the island's environment. The producers were said to have destroyed beach areas and put palm trees to make the island look more like the book's descriptions. The filmmakers deny these claims. When the movie came out, it caused more people to visit, which hurt the environment even more. In Phi Phi La, there is a place called Viking Cave where eating birds' nests is a big business. When the Indian Ocean tsunami hit in December 2004, it ruined almost all of Koh Phi Phi's infrastructure. 7. Fang Na Bay The limestone casts that stick straight up out of the emerald water are what make Fang Na Bay stand out. Some of the most well-known places in this bay are James Bond Island and Koh Pangi. By far, the best way to see the beautiful scenery and avoid the crowds of tourists at James Bond and Koh Pangi is to take a boat trip from the northern end of Phuket. A day trip taking it easy while traveling through Fang, Na Bay's beautiful limestone islands, and stopping at quiet beaches is much more enjoyable than the usual bus boat tour. The James Bond movie The Man with the Golden Gun, 1974, put James Bond Island, which is also known as Ko Tapu, meaning male island in Thai, on the map around the world. And this is where most groups take all the tourists at the same time. The area around this island is truly beautiful, especially the rocky peak that stands out. Most groups follow the same while one route up the main highway for an hour. As part of these tours, you will have lunch at Koh Pani, a nearby Muslim fishing town. Koh Pani is a small island town that can be reached by longtail boat from Sarakul Pieri and Na province in about 20 minutes. On the island, there are about 1,600 people living in 360 families. All of them are related to Toh Babu and his family, and friends in some way. They were the first people to live on Koh Pani about 200 years ago. 8. Elephant Sanctuary, Chiang Mai Chiang Mai has an elephant refuge. Elephants are the national animal of Thailand, and have a lot of meaning in the past and culture of the country. In the past, Elephants were used to move people and goods, and to cut down trees in the woods. People thought of them as a sign of wealth, so they were used in religious events and festivals. They were also used as war elephants because they were so big and could leave the troops on the ground, break through the enemy's defenses, scare them, and take the army commander, who was often a king. Thankfully, elephant care centers have opened up in Thailand, especially in Chiang Mai, to help take care of these beautiful animals. These centers make sure that the elephants are well taken care of, and not used for activities that could hurt them by giving them a safe and moral place to live. 9. Chiang Rai In the north of Thailand, in the city and province of Chiang Rai, you can find old royal temples, beautiful art, museums, culture, and education. Wat Prakayu, the royal temple, is one of the most important places to visit here. It used to be home to the famous Emerald Buddha, a jade figure. It shows a copy instead of the original today. A popular spot for photos is the Naval City Pillar, a monument made up of more than 100 Khmer-style pillars. The Mayfa Luong Art and Cultural Park has a museum with lana items that you can visit to learn more about ancient culture. The Chiang Rai Night Bazaar, is a traditional night market with dozens of booths selling food, arts and crafts, souvenirs, and gifts. There is also live entertainment every night. You can visit the Long Neck Karen village to learn more about a famous Karen Native American town. There is a beautiful golden clock tower in the middle of a circle called the Clock Tower Chiang Rai. 
it will likely make your social media feed shine. 10. Krabi Krabi is in Thailand, on the Andaman Sea, about 800 kilometers from Bangkok. It is one of the most beautiful places to go on vacation in Thailand. Because of this, the things to do in Krabi are truly amazing. This province is stunning, with its tall limestone hills, beautiful beaches and 130 islands that make up a beautiful island world. Krabi is a great place to go on vacation, because there are so many great things to see and do, both on the shore and on the islands. There are also many fun things to do that will stay with you. The Krabi area has a lot of great things to do, like jungle hiking, snorkeling, climbing, bathing with elephants and checking out the best beaches in the area. These are one of the five best hotels to visit in Thailand. 1. The Porta Chao Praia by UHG Two, Shanalai Garden Resort. Three, Carlton Hotel Bangkok Sukhumut. Four, Akara Hotel. Five, La Petite Salil Sukumot Dongla. Travel tips, thing to keep in mind. 1. The best place to eat traditional Thai food is at the street markets. 2. The way to get around the islands and cities is with a rented vehicle. 3. Public transportation is also widely used in Thailand. 4. Wherever you go, always carry extra cash. So there you have it, the beauty of Thailand. Share your experience in the comments area, if you'd like. Make sure to click the subscribe button. For more travel guide videos, kindly stay with us. In our next video we will be talking about Norway, also known as the Kingdom of Norway. It is a country of mountain ranges, huge forest, dramatic and beautiful scenery, from the beaches and cliffs of the south to the mountains in the middle, and the midnight sun at the North Cape. For more amazing facts about Norway, kindly click on the notification bell,